To make your own stickers at home, you're going to want to get some sticker paper or labels that you can use to make stickers with. You can get matte, glossy, vinyl, or even holographic sticker paper for both laser and inkjet printers, and then cut your stickers out. Or you can use labels to make your stickers. To make stickers with Canva, you have some different options. You can use the templates and make one sticker at a time, or you can make them by the sheet. To find the sticker templates, start on the home page and then type in stickers in the search bar. Make sure templates is selected and click enter. And then all of these templates will open up. And you can see here, Canva has over 5,700 templates to choose from to make stickers with. And in order to narrow down your options in the left sidebar, you can select a filter by format, style, theme, or color. And then you can also choose to create a blank sticker by selecting this box here. So to show you how to use a template sticker, let's pick one, let it open. Once it opens, you can change the colors, fonts, what they say, and even the design. You can customize every single item on the sticker. So for example, if we wanted to change this background color, click on it, go to the color box, and then you can pick a different color. And then if you wanted to change this graphic, you could go to elements and let's type in chef, select graphics, and we'll substitute this one. I wanna make her just as big. All right, and then we'll take this one out, the one behind it, select it, click delete, put this one in its place and send backwards. Okay, so now we have that, and if we wanted to take this out, we'll make her a baker instead. So then we will look for cupcakes, different things that a baker would make. So we'll add this one. We'll just set that one right in her hand. Just add your elements and let's add a couple more donuts. And you just want to keep adding your elements until you're completely done. Move this cupcake up here. over and then if you want to change this banner select it and then up here are the colors and you can select your colors now for this one i think i would lighten that up just a touch just to give it a little more depth make this Brenda's Bakery. And let's change the color of the font. And if Brenda had a website, we could put that here. And then you would go to share and you have the option. If you click on print design, scroll down, stickers, circle, Click on that and you can select your size, small, medium, or large. Your paper finish can either be matte or gloss. And then you can select how many stickers you want. And then you can go through the checkout process and Canva's printer will print these up for you and ship them directly to you. If you don't want to have them shipped to you through Canva, go to share, go to download 
and you can pick what kind of file you want it to be, whether it be a JPEG or a PNG or PDF. I would select the PNG with a transparent background. That way you get, you'll get your sticker, but you will not get all of the background with it. And then you download it and then you can print it in the size that you want. If you're finding this video helpful, please hit the like button, subscribe, and tap that notification bell so you'll be notified whenever a new tutorial is published. Now, if you wanted to make a whole sheet of stickers, and this is how I prefer to do it, you're gonna go to this button, click on custom size, change pixels to inches. Width is going to be 8.5 by 11, and click on create new design. And remember, when you're creating a whole sheet of stickers, you're gonna to wanna to leave enough room between each sticker that you can cut them out with scissors without cutting into the sticker next to it. So what I do is I use my guides to divide up my page. And typically I will start with a half inch margin all the way around the paper. And then I will go to two and a half inches and then I'll bring this one down and it'll go two and a half inches. And then the next one is gonna be two and a half inches. And then from side to side. Now each one of these blocks will be a sticker. So for example, let's go to element and we'll let's look for a B. And you want to just line it up in your block. And then we'll go text. And if it changes when you change the font, you can just readjust it. And then you can set it in your block. And if you want to change the color of your font to match your B, when you open the color menu, the colors of the B will be right here. And then let's go back to elements and let's look for a star. Find a cute one. Oh, I like this one. And then let's go back over to text and we'll add you are a pull that out a little bit, make it a little bigger. And let's go to effects and we'll curve it. Now we can make it a little bigger. And of course you can change your font. To make it easier to cut these out, I will add a shape behind them. I don't know about you, but I can't cut out a straight line. I can't draw a straight line, I can't walk a straight line. So for me, it's easier if I have a set background. So to do that, so what I'll do is I'll change this color and then I will send it to the back. So that color does not really work. So let's change it to this color. And that way you can see all the colors on the sticker and have edges to cut out with. So this one, let's go back to elements and we'll use a circle. Now remember, you have to have space in between to cut your sticker out without cutting into the one next to it. Send that backwards and then we will, it's just a little bit smaller, change that color of the circle. And I don't see one that I like right off the bat. So, and then we'll take the letters and shrink those down a little bit. Okay, and to get it lined up correctly, when you get both numbers on each side, that is the space between the elements on each side. So that's how you know that you're in the right position. And then for the star, if you want to change the color, make it a little darker. And while the star is selected, hold down the shift key, select the circle, position, and center. And now you have everything centered in your circle. For this one, I would go to see all. And let's see if this shape will work. So we're going to pull it up to our block, make it fit and send it back. I'm gonna shrink it down just a little bit to move this guide to get it out of the way. Then we will hold down the shift key and select the shape, come to position up, oh, center and middle. So it's in good, a good spot. And then highlight the shape again. And you can go to color and you can make this any color you want it to be. So I'm going to go with something very light. And you have your first three stickers done. These you would not be able to sell because they have Canva elements straight from the library. You really haven't done 
enough for these to be significantly changed in order to sell them the way they are. It just goes against Canva's guidelines. If you wanted to create stickers to sell, you will want to significantly change any elements that you might use and make them your own unique designs. But really, to be 100% sure your stickers follow all the Canva guidelines, your best bet is to create your own. And so to do that, you could use your own graphics and fonts. And of course, my two favorite sites for graphics and fonts are Creative Fabrica and The Hungry JPEG. And I'll put links in the description below for, for you to find both of those sites and check them out. Now, let's make the next three stickers, stickers that could be sold. And to do that, I would go to my folders and then I would go to my graphics folders. And let's just pick this one here. So all of my uploaded graphic all have a commercial license so I can use these for any commercial use so let's add this one and pull it as much as we can and then again I would add a shape behind it just to make it easier for me to cut out. And then I want the blue does not work. So let's change the color and just work with the colors until you find one that you like and that you're happy with. Okay, I like that one. So let's go back to my folder and we'll add this one. And again, I recommend getting graphics from Creative Fabrica and the Hungry JPEG. Creative Fabrica is by far my favorite. Go back to elements and we'll use this shape up and I want to pull the guide out of the way so I can shrink this down and then we'll send this backward and there's my next sticker and then for this third one go back to my folder pick one from here add this one in this block and of course back to shapes and you could add circle and let's send that to the back I'm gonna have to shrink him down just a little bit so we're gonna move the guide and then if you wanted to put one of these shapes instead you just simply bring it over you can delete the circle bring this one over and you can change the color and the back I think having the shapes behind your graphic just makes it so much easier and then if you want to use the other shape you can put it in this box and, and go to text and um, color so you can see it. And let's change the font bigger, burn it, and then see. We could add a little line. So we'll go back to element and let's add one. We can add this exclamation point and let's make it the same color. And there's another sticker. Now, if you wanted to add um, a graphic or an element without putting a shape behind it, but you still want to have space to cut it out. So let's go to elements and we will pick. So let's add this bear, for example. We'll put this in the block, put it there, and then you want to control D to duplicate it. Set it right on top and you want to make it just a smidge bigger in both directions. And then we're going to edit image, go to duotone, pick any one of these colors. And it, when you go into the settings for that, whatever, whichever one you choose, you're going to change this box to white and change this box to white. And then that will make it white. If you want black, you can change them both boxes to black and click apply whichever color you want. And once it's done, right click and send backwards. And then you can center up your graphic. Once you've got it the size you want, hold down the shift key. And, and then you've got, you know, select the one in the back, hold down shift, select the one in the front, go to position, click middle so they're lined up. And now you have a black outline that you can use to cut your sticker out. Or if you were using um, a colored paper and you wanted an, a white outline, you could do that as well. 
<clears throat> or you could even select your whole page and make it a really light color and then make it a white background so that when it prints, you'll be able to see that outline. If you make a white outline and you print it on white paper, you're not going to be able to see it to cut it out. So once you have all of your stickers done, go to share, select download and download it in the format that you prefer and then print it or upload it to whatever site you're using to sell your digital items. And that's how easy it is to create your own stickers in Canva. So I hope you found this tutorial really helpful and full of fun information. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to post those in the comments below and I'll get back to you just as quickly as I can. Be sure to grab your free 30 day trial of Canva Pro in the description below and I'll be back next week with another tutorial. And until then, have a fabulous week and enjoy your Canva.